Hey guys, it's Vanessa Green, Ray Thompson, Anglin USA, proudly brought to you by the Kingfisher. Ray, how was your week? Did you fish this past weekend? I did, and like I said to you, go south. And south coast was <laughs> where all the fish has been. Guys, the predictions were right. As uh, third time in a row, we are uh, on a roll. Yeah, hat trick, Definitely whatever you want to call it. Yeah. We're certainly on a roll, and this week, Ray, South Coast is happening again. Again? Again? Yeah. Uh, there has been fish up south. north. Or there's south. been fish in Durban, mm -hmm. but, well, you're going far, far south. I'm mm -hmm. just heading lower south, okay. right? And the reason, guys, we are heading down south is because the variety of fish that's been coming out. Well, what are you circling now? Uh, no, going far, far south because of the cyclone that's coming Oh, on. that's why you're running all the way down. <laughs> Let, let's start off. How was competition weekend last week? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah? If you were far south. Okay, what did you guys get? I didn't go far south. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up going my area, Warners, that yeah. area there. We've got a couple of fish, not a lot. Okay. But far south, the guys, Marlin and them that fish down that area, they mm -hmm. got hounds like we predicted. Yeah. It's the place that most of those hounds are becoming out. Right. Uh, there's been some grey, some sandies. I heard of one of 24 kilos coming out there at Splash, that area. Okay. So they definitely have been some fish down south. Right. Been quite a few bronze bream as well. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm um, slightly have been throwing one or two bream, so somehow okay. they're missing me. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have heard about the bream around Shloti. All right, so let's start off down south. Yeah. Let's tell the guys exactly what's been coming out down south. So there's been rock species. Yes. Right? A lot of rocket, some nice size rocket, Ray. Catface, uh, yeah. Yeah. Lovely ones. And then uh, still those hound sharks are in the back. Still down there. Right. Still down um, there. There's a couple hammers, but they're still small. Yes. Right? And uh, on the offshore side, there's been some lovely tuna still coming out. Tuna, that whole, from basically Shepston South, tuna, yeah. north of it, nothing. Mm. Nothing that I've heard of in the Belito, yeah. Salt Rock, Durban area. Yeah. Nothing I've in heard of area. a couple, snook and kuta out of snook, Durban. Yes. All right, but let's finish off now. What is warmer, coast. that's why. Right. Okay. Mm. So that's what's happening on the lower south coast. The fish are definitely on. Guys, as you can see from these visuals, um, there's a variety of species that's been on the bite. Lots of hounds, lots of hammers, lots of rock species. So whether you are targeting your edibles, non-edibles, they are on the bite, right? Definitely. So if we want a variety, we are heading down south. south. Now, I'm going to be down at Port Edward this weekend, so I will be sending through some visuals. Make sure to check it out on our TikTok um, channel. I'll be putting out some live feeds out there. Ray, where are you heading down south this I'm week? I'm heading to the Transcar, Fort St. John's, yeah. Umgazana, Mboiki, somewhere around there. I'm not telling you because it's competition weekend. <laughs> <laughs> What's the target species? Uh, definitely going to be sharks to start off with. And yeah. then, obviously, the carp and the bronze bream. Those are the next two All right. species on my list. So well, if I know you, I think you're heading to Punska. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. no, okay. No. Well, it's been a while since a fish competition with you, yeah. but anyway, now let's move on down. Rocky Bay, Scottborough, Pennington. I didn't get too many reports, but... There's been the odd bone fish down here, and they've been very, very small. There's yeah. been the odd little cob around, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Quiet, quiet, quiet. It has been quiet. Now... Water's warm. That's the main reason. Well, it has been pretty warm this past yeah. week, but this northeasterly should make a bit of a difference. Yeah, it has, but we've got that big cyclone sea coming, so everything's going to change from today onwards, basically. Yeah. The rain comes tomorrow. Mm. It's going to cool everything down. Right. Uh, there will be a few rivers coming out, so there will be dirty water again. Yeah. So those cob, those edible fish... And maybe a brown skate or two on the south coast. But yeah. other than that, I don't know too much for it because the water's still warm. No, of In course. between season now. It's autumn, yes. starting. Yeah. yeah. Summer fish are starting to disappear. They're heading up north. Mm. Winter fish haven't arrived. So, yeah. yeah. It's, that, it's that in between. In between tra yeah, in it's between. a transition period right yes. now, guys. Um, so, Warner Beach, right? I've heard there's a lot of fish, but small fish. Yes. Nothing big. Nothing. Right. A lot of small carb the, in that. Yeah, the, there's a lot of small mm. carb, odd shad, odd bream, odd rock species. There's been a couple greys though. And snook, especially on the back line. Uh, I remember yeah. we fished the over the other day and mm. those little turns were going crazy. The snook were there. And yeah. then on Sunday, in front of Warner Beach mm. um, Clubhouse, the snook started jumping at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and nobody had any spinning tackle with him. <laughs> and there were lots of snook. Really? Don't, don't forget one thing, there's that, uh, that ski butt comp. Yes, yes, the SA National Interclub happening this weekend. Kicks off, I think, on Friday. That is correct. Um, well, that's more the briefing. Yes. But the boats launch out on Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. They weigh in at about 2 or 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 
At three o'clock on Saturday, two o'clock on Sunday. Yes. Right, and then the uh, event is actually going on throughout the week, and there's bands, there's uh, stalls with some good food out there's there. There's clinics, there's fishing a, clinics. Quite a few yeah. clinics. So, guys, I'm only going to make it out there while we're fishing this weekend, but I'll be out there on Sunday afternoon. Are you going to... No, I'll still be in the Transca. Oh, well, okay. Well, <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> well, but just remember one thing. It's a family event, so bring yes. your wife, your kids and that, and come down to Warner's Ski Boat Club and come and join in all the entertainment that they've got there. Yeah, absolutely. And then also, well, not only do you get to see all the boats launching, we get to see who's going to represent South Africa. Correct. For and all, all the, the fish, too. Yeah, yeah of course. The fish. Well, with the cyclone, let's hope we got some fish. No, you will. The sea is, <laughs> yeah. sea is not looking too bad, so they, they will launch. They cool. will go out. It will be a nice, re nice weekend for them. Fantastic. Now, into our hometown, Durban. Yes. Looking very interesting out here, Ray. Uh, what do you say? I, I, you fished here last night. I fished here last night, and I'm still waiting for a bite. <laughs> Northeastly, yeah. three days, water brown, flat, nice. Yeah. No bite. Ah. Absolutely no Perfect. bite. And we're looking here at the moment and it's flat and calm. Yeah. Still no bite. So, yeah. If, south. <laughs> go south. south. Guys, we're heading <laughs> south. Yeah, there's not much bite. However, during the week, I did get some reports. Mm. There were a couple stumpies. There were some grunter. Yes. Odd shad, odd gray. Not fireworks, but there has been some no, bite. There were some nice stumpies and yeah. some nice pompano there at um, Guinea again, as usual. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a nice big GT that was caught over there. When I say nice, yeah. Black tip kingy of about 10 kilos was caught there. Yeah, in fact, I saw another kingfish coming out by Mshlanga, but before mm -hmm. we head out to the north, the harbor has been producing yes. some fish this week. Grunter. Yeah. Nice grunter. Yeah. Absolutely nice And grunter. the hardest is what? Um, light tackle boat. Yes. Don't forget about that. Yes, the light tackle boat. They had the comp last week. That's correct. They you got... were involved with that one. What, uh, what did the guys tell you about? They got milkies, they got greys, mm -hmm. they got blue rays, and yeah. some small snook, all of them guinea. Right. Um, obviously, light tackle boat, four kilo. Yes. Uh, DP just reported back to me that they yeah. got a lot of fish there. Yeah. A lot of fish. Just on the back line, shark nets and that. Obviously, the water's a little bit mm -hmm. cooler further out. Um, where we are, it's a little bit warmer. That inshore current yes. is still warm. But the guys, light tackle boat, as soon as that water drops another two degrees, it's sitting yeah. at 25 at the moment. Drops two more degrees, those fish will move in. We will get grazed, we will get milkies. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they're around. And the milkies were quite big, uh, 5.4, 4.4, which are right. big for milkies. Yeah, of course. Well, you know, uh, being that size, and these guys catch that on four kilo line, and this is Igfa Tester yes, line, you know. 100%. So, I, I get, I, I'm really blown away with these guys' uh, angling abilities. Yes. You know, because no, I've seen them good. catch some. More than just those 10 kilo, 20 kilo fish. I mean, yeah. I've seen them really bring I've, in stuff. I've seen so. them catch diamonds 60 kilos on four kilo lines. So 100%. You try and I've work seen them catch those regions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, real talents out there, guys. Yeah. Now, let's move on up the north coast. Good evening, nation, all anglers. Yeah, it is the 12th of March. Live broadcast from Sheffield. As you can see, the water condition just northeast is pushing a bit. Get those Ross Bendits. Martin, Quacha, over now. Right, so from what I've heard from the guys at Kingfisher Belito, Tongat has been getting a couple of Pompano. They've been getting some three spot Pompano, which is your wave Garrick. Wave Garrick, yeah. Right, and then in Belito Soul Truck itself, I've heard of a bit of bream, around two and a half kilos. Yeah. Um, some grey sharks, right? Grey sharks but, are starting to make their appearance now. Yeah. It means the water temperature is starting to come right. Now, could this mean, Ray, that this could be the slowing down of the sandies. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, because there wasn't many reports of any sandies coming out. Yeah, uh, well, Jerome Charles got one of 10.4 down at Nyoni, that south side, um, yeah. on the weekend when we fished our comp. Okay. So they are around the smaller ones, but yeah. definitely as you move north. That, well, that's what I was that meaning, yeah, area because a little lower down like south, it. there has been a couple sandies, as you can see from these visuals. Well, one of 24 kilos, like I said, down there, yeah. Splash or Spiro is one of those places. Yes. There, Dean Pretorius reported to me on that one there. Yeah. No, so, no, yeah, yeah, there are some. They, they're around. But would this be start slowing down now? Definitely. And we'd start seeing more Definitely. of the greys. Definitely. And with regards to our rays, what, what sort of species would we start seeing now? Browns. Okay. Brown skates, you start getting a lot more brown skates this time of the year. As the blues have gone. Right. The diamonds will start slowing down. The butterfly rays start slowing down. Yeah. You've got maybe another month left where you might get the three day northeasterly on the Zululand coast mm -hmm. where they might still be around. Yeah. But other than that, they calm down now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, going up to Tugela, 
those lobotis are still on the bike. Yes, they are. And some nice ones. I've heard reports between three to seven kilos. Yeah. Apparently, this angler was holding it up. The fish was coming down to his knees. Well, that was the Barney's <laughs> mate that sent him a photo yeah. of that area. It was a big one. That was a 25 liter bucket. Yeah. And the tail was hanging over wow. the back. It was a big Some beautiful lobotis out there. Yeah. Um, anything from Intanzini Banks? Quiet, lots yeah. of mulkies. Yeah, very, very quiet. What happened to those raggies, though? I thought we were going to get more raggies. They all gone north. So Richard's Bay, St. Lucia. Yeah, Slaban, that area. Like yeah. I said, a few weeks ago, Dean and them got some good fish. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of raggies, actually, around about two weeks ago. But the yeah. water, the northeasty was blowing. The water was cold. Right. Starting to warm up again. Okay. Um, however, the guys that fished Sudwana Bay, mm -hmm. Uh, there were one or two bites that were raggy bites, according to the anglers, yeah. and they said, yeah, they got bitten off and stuff like that, so okay. the raggies might still be up there north. So. Well, what mm. a shot. I didn't get much news on the rock and surf side, however, offshore. That thing's coming. It's going to bug it. <laughs> it is. It is. I saw some footage of um, the seas looking quite rough already. Yes. Yeah, so we're in for some big seas. Do you think it's going to spread all the way down no. Durban no, South Coast? No, Is no, this no. going to stay up north? It's going to stay up north. Yeah. Come down to Zululand, Numtanzini area. You're going to have a big swell in that. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's going to be two, two and a half meters, which is small for a cyclone sea down here. Sure, yeah. And as you go further south, it actually gets smaller. So. All right. So the yeah. Wanna Beach comp is still on for this definitely, weekend. Definitely, definitely. Lovely. Yeah. I love it. So guys, that runs off the salt, uh, well, the salt water report yeah. now onto the fresh water where it hasn't been all that rosy red. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a drought coming. El <laughs> Nino is on its way. Jan told, you me, <laughs> <laughs> Jan told me Albert Falls at Mudba has been really quiet with the bass. Yeah. Yeah, so that's been a bit quiet. Um, trout, we've got 10 weeks left on the still water season. Mm. So, you know, take advantage of that trout fishing, Jan, on our podcast. So, guys, make sure to listen to our podcast. That's where you got the full detailed report of what's been going on from all our reporters. Obviously, Ray and I give you the highlights of what's been going on, a bit of a tease of what's been going on, and our opinion of what's been going on. But uh, if you want the full freshwater report, check it out on our podcast. Um, apart from that, there has been a couple brown trout. Yeah, um, have been. Um, also, don't forget the scalies. Still a lot yes, of scalies around. Scalies yellows, are around. Natal yellows. Is it there. still going on with yes, Sturkfontein? De definitely. Yeah. Are still on, but All right. How long are we expecting that run to go on for? I've been reporting it for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, not that I'm complaining. <laughs> I mean, they are our gold slabs. Your preferred fish for yeah, SA or, or should be our national fish. Our national fish, I promise you now. <laughs> no, um, they're still catching fish. You're mm. just going to put the time in. Late afternoon, definitely working a lot better than early morning now. Yes. So, yeah, as long as the conditions are flat and calm and the wind yeah. doesn't blow, they come up in the water column. Water temperature, again, plays a very big part with those yellows. Mm -hmm. And the water's warm, so yeah, they're still yeah. eating. They're still feeding, okay. without a doubt. Yeah. Cool. Well, if you are missing out on that bass, guys, I mean, here's a tip. If you are still going out to try it, obviously the private dams are still producing. Yep. Fish deep, and the guy, I, I've got a suggestion to go with smaller baits. Definitely. Yeah. Smaller baits, slow yeah. and deep. Right. Water temperature is warm for the dams, yeah. so definitely cool. slow. Just slow down, bud. Perfect. Slow down. So now, guys, that's our KZN report for the week. Uh, that's Ray Thompson, myself. Ray, I am fishing uh, Caribbean Estate. I'll be fishing that whole Port Edward stretch. Mm. I will be reporting on that. I'm feeling quite confident because I am heading south, and that's where the fish are. Well, my wife yeah. and my friend were down that side, also mm. that lower, lower south coast. And how was it? Well, Rob got a couple of uh, catfish rock art. Uh, and yes. you got two bream down there, so the fish are there, so okay. good luck. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's all between Ray and I again. Obviously, I can't compare Mine's going to be Ray. bigger. He's going to be smaller. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what? I, I, I tend to enjoy myself with a variety, right? Okay. <laughs> you are more zoned in or honed in or whatever it is. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you want big? I want fun. No, you know, so guys, whatever it is, whether you're going for big fish, whether you're going for a variety, whether you are going for just uh, to fun. have fun. Right, yeah. South Coast is the place to be again. We are right the last three weeks. I win for four in a row. Let Ooh. us know in the comments if you are fishing north and what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, until next week, Vanessa Green, Ray Thompson. This is Angler News. Special thanks to the Kingfisher for not only do they sell uh, tackle for 
of all facets of fishing, they are involved in our fishing news to make sure we're in the right feeding zones. And that's what the show is about. So until next week, comment, subscribe, like the show. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Good luck. Cool. <laughs>